Hey, so welcome to the shop. Today, we're gonna to be installing the cheapest dropper lever that I could find from Amazon. I've had great reviews. It looks like a nice product. It's a ZTTO dropper post lever. So, stay tuned and let's get into this. So first, let's check this sucker out. Now it comes with a brand new cable. Quality of which, I don't know, but hey, you know, brand new cable. So we're gonna put that away and we're gonna save it because I'm gonna reuse the cable that's on the bike. Now this lever here, it's got the hub on it. Now if you've seen some other ones, namely maybe Wolf Tooth, it's got a hub just like this piece that's replaceable but literally this is $25 for this dropper lever. So for almost a little more than the price of just this replacement piece for the wolf tooth, you can get a whole new dropper lever. It's branded here ZTTO, so it's not bad. Let's see if I can scratch it. Nope, hitting it with my nail, no scratching it. So that's not too bad. It's got a little bit of knurling on here. You can see that. So that's not too bad either. It gives you a little bit of traction, but it's grooved into it. So if you did want to do some grip tape over here, you'd have plenty of surface area for the grip tape to grab. You just want to clean it first with some alcohol. You got your nut here, a little ferrule for the end of your cable. That threads in here. Now this is spring loaded. I've already played with this. It's spring loaded, so you want to make sure you keep that clip on there. So a little clip on there. That keeps it on the post there so it doesn't go flying into oblivion. And you just gotta thread it in there like that. Done, then you can pull that off and you're good to go. Or you can even leave it on like you see. You see it's that's spring loaded so you need that on there when you install it. So we're gonna run this all the way down. We're gonna take the factory lever off my bike and we're gonna install this and see what we think of it. Now this setup here isn't necessarily my favorite. As you can tell, it comes up and down and under my brake lever. So every time I hit the brakes, it's squeezing on this and moving it. It's not as nice of a lever as some of the ones that run horizontal, the vertical, it's just, it, it seems like it's slightly less natural of a position for your hand so we're going to get in here and if I can find the right size well, that's not the right size we're going to get this sucker off there we go that's the right size catch it before it hits the floor. And now that'll give you guys a little bit more of a view of what I'm talking about here with this angle. So the little ferrule, the little lead end, whatever you'd like to refer to it as, sits up in here. So let's see if we can't get in there enough. Oh yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and I'm going to snip that cable with my wire cutters. And then take this mess off and it should allow me to just slide it up onto the new lever. First I need some wire cutters. So now for this I got some Craftsman cutting dykes and if you don't have cable cutters you're going to want to make sure you have a good sharp pair of these so you can cut the cable. There you go. My dropper will never be the same. 
take this off the end. All right, so what we're left with here now, is just the end of the wire. It's got a little piece of rubber on there. You make sure this fits in there first. Oh yeah, that'll fit in there just nice. Now I'm not gonna have enough reach with this to get on that nut. So what we're gonna have to do anyway is cut this back. So this is the point where this gets more complicated because now I'm gonna have to take the seat post out to slide this back because I only have so much wiggle room in it. And I do need to trim this back just a little bit in order to get enough reach to grab this Allen bolt here. So stay tuned, I'm gonna take care of that and we'll pick right back up where we left off. All right, so we're back got this housing trimmed up and I got the cable just the right length for me so I'm gonna double check I always want to measure twice cut once have have that kind of attitude and you'll be save yourself a lot of trouble so now I can get it through here and I have it just coming to the end of your uh, thumb lever here so as you can see there so what I'm gonna do first before I clamp it down to the bolt I'm going to put a ferrule on the end. We're going to go with a gold ferrule on the end of this cable. You're going to want something to crimp it. Now you could use some pliers, you could use your, uh, your cutting dykes and just don't try and cut it, just try and stake it, if you will. But I just happen to have some wire crimpers here and these should work. So, got to remember put your cable through the end first because otherwise you're not going to get the ferrule through ferrule fits over the end and these keep the cable from fraying and you know with the cool colors you can dress your bike up a little bit for the little touches right so there we go it's on there it's crimped it looks all nice and pretty so now what we need to do is make sure the cables tighten here when we do it. Loosen this up, not all the way that it falls out. And we're gonna bring that up underneath there. You gotta make sure you get the washer out of the way. So I might just have to take it all the way out. We're very close to all the way out. Let's see what we can do here. Just a matter of snaking it up under there without messing up the cable. And I don't have the skills to pay the bills apparently. So that's what we're gonna do. Just put it on top of it. There we go. So make sure it's the lever is brought all the way out. Make sure your cable's shoved all the way in. If you have to get a friend to help you with this step, do so. Snug it down. All right, make sure we don't have much for play out of it. I can kind of give a little tug on the end, try and take some of it out. If I loosen it up a little bit, I can. There we go. So now that should snug everything up there. Tighten that sucker down. There we go. No sign of that stripping out, and I tighten that up real good. I have zero slack in this sucker. Now, I gotta take it apart so I can put it together. All right, so now we got it all hooked up. 
I'm going to have to take it, the handlebar clamp separate from the lever here. We're going to figure out how we're going to wrap this and get this in there. Now this isn't a hard job. It's a little tedious getting the stuff lined up, getting everything crimped and trimmed, but you just take your time, get through it, you'll be just fine at this. We're gonna get this about where we want it. Figure I'm on the bike, braking, that's right there. And we can always go back and adjust that later. Snug her up. And there you go. Got just the right amount of play in it there. Alright, so the lever's got a nice feel to it. Make sure the dropper works as intended. Oh, yeah. to a half inch push she goes right down so I don't have to smash it all the way down she'll go right down a little push comes right back up so hey it's all right a little sweaty it's hot out here hey but we got the dropper lever done and the whole process maybe 15 minutes so and that's with a little bit of fumbling around and having to go back to get a set of wire cutters for my toolbox because I forgot them and you know, it just has a nice feel to it. It seems to be well made. So $25, I'll leave the link in the description. I don't get a cut of this, so if you wanna order it, go ahead, give it a whirl. Um, I already like it a lot more, and I hope you do too. Thanks for watching, and keep riding.